Hello, I'm Jared HME and welcome. This is a how-to on how to port forward for pretty much whatever you want. You don't need password to your router or anything as far as I know. All you need is this, a program. Uh, you, I don't even think, as far as I can tell you, don't even need to be admin on your computer. So basically where, what you want to do is go and run this. It's a .jar, so if your computer has JAWS, then you should be able to run it. You run it, and then it'll open up this. Uh, you're going to want to go over here and click connect. I'm going to have my. It will show your IPs in here. I'll blur out my external one. See, like right here, it'll show it. And then it'll have the lists of all the different types of ports that are in there at the moment. So then you're going to want to. Um, so, right now I'm going to be using one for Gary's mod, but what I'll show you. Oh, I'm going to show you how to use it. Basically, you're going to want to. Uh, like if you're making one you're going to want to click create uh... i don't remember what the exact port for gary's mod is so i'll just go into this one and click edit so then um... uh... you'll want to like click add a couple times for this one you would press it four times and then for every second one you're going to want to click and switch it to udp unless you know otherwise that it will doesn't need it. Then you're going on and click in here, and then type in the port. I don't, I'm just going to type in. I'm going to type in 1234 just as an example. So you want to type it into all of these boxes right here. Uh, I'll get rid of this one and this one. So then those will be. Those will be put into it. I'm going to remove them because I don't actually need them for this. Uh, you, you're going to want to have this to be set to use localhost and if that doesn't work you're going to want to go to here, type in cmd, then type in ip config, ah, config. and then you're going to want to use this one if this if I'm thinking of it correctly. Yeah, this one. You're going to want to use this. And then just put that into the internal client and have the description be whatever you want to be. I'm just going to keep it as Gary's mod. Then you're going to want to click save. And then when you're in here, you're going to click it and then click use. And I'll put that in. Actually, I'm going to remove these for a second just to show a demonstration. Uh, I'm going to connect to my friend on Skype real quick and then we will show you that it works. So once. And I'm back. I have my friend in Skype. He needed his mic because he doesn't want. You know, whatever. So anyway, so let's go up and load up a uh, trouble in Terrace Town real thing real quick, real quick. Uh, look, it Gary's mod is not being used, so my port is not my port is not currently forwarded. He will message me on Steam, I guess, once um it uh shows once he tries to connect, I suppose. <laughs> Hang on. I'll just resume it when it's done. Alright, so the server is up and I'm in it, and my friend will try to join momentarily, and you will see that he can't do it. I'm not good at this! Yes. <laughs> there he is! And message me again when you fail. Stupid. <laughs> Alright, so now. Really? Really? Alright, so then go and open up port mapper. I don't know why it's still over there. So then go and click Gary's mod again, for instance. Click use. Try again. I don't know if it'll work or if I have to restart the server. Didn't. Uh. Yep, and there you go. Anyway, so yeah, that's how it works. It works for any server, can also or any type of game that you would have to port forward for. It works for Minecraft if you also want to know about that. Just literally any game that needs to be port forwarded to make a server, you can use this for it. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully that will have solved all of your port forwarding issues.
बाय